Today on the show, we continue our series on winter wheels with winter smarts, go on a special adventure with Expeditions West, and I check out KMMG in Georgia. Welcome to the Auto 123 Show, I'm Donna Mailing Park and we're so pleased to bring you this very special edition of the show from my hometown, Vancouver. This fair city is currently hosting the Olympic Games, but we thought that we'd take a break in between cheers to pull into the pit stop to take a breath of that very fresh and beautiful British Columbian air and fuel you up on the most interesting news. My friend Matt is standing by to remind us of the biggest highlights from the largest auto show on the Canadian circuit. The 2010 edition of the Toronto Auto Show has just wrapped up, but before we officially close the door, there are a few points I would love to touch on. Ford maintains its full steam ahead approach with a whole bunch of new products and technologies, and one of them is the new MyFord technology, which we're going to look into. So the My, My Ford Touch is a new Driver Connect technology that really helps to um, the driver to operate the vehicle in a way that's safe, um, it with simple intuitive controls and, and integrating all kinds of smart technology. We want to focus on keeping your hands on the wheel and the eyes on the road. Right. And allowing the user to access vehicle information and customizing their displays. One of the, on the left hand display, um, vehicle information such as fuel economy, or maybe I want to change the, the display mode. And then on the right hand side, we have access to our four primary feature groups, entertainment, phone, navigation, and climate. Great. Now, in the center console, all the controls are touch sensitive. Right. It's all touch. Yeah. No mechanical switches. So, in order to turn on climate. Now, if I want to change the ambient lighting in the cup holders, cup holders and in the footwells. Foot wells, yeah. Yep. We have it turned off now because there's too much light to see. Yep, exactly. Just touch the color yeah, that you want. Orange. Now, if I open the center console, you can see access to the media hub. And you can okay. see the purple from the ambient lighting. Right. right. Um, two USB ports, ports yeah. SD card, card slot, yeah. and three RCA jacks Ooh. for audio. We have Wi-Fi built on board. Okay. Um, connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot when the vehicle's in park and you have access to the okay. internet. Okay, only when it's in park? Only when it's in park. The safety right. thing again. Exactly. Sure. Minimizing driver distractions. Of course. Speaking of Ford, their association with the legendary Carol Shelby is known around the world. The Toronto Auto Show paid tribute to Mr. Shelby with a great display of all of his most famous cars. Former race car driver, the first American to ever win the 24 Hours of Le Mans, is recognized as being the father of the American muscle car. Why? Because of cars like this one. This is an unrestored 1964 AC Cobra 289, the car lover's dream, a barn find. How about this one? This is Bob Bondurant's 1964 Cobra Daytona Coupe CSX 2299, a Le Mans winning car. What an incredible collection. What Shelby is arguably best known for are his Mustangs and GT40s. All were present from the Mustang GT350 and highly desirable GT500 to the Ferrari butt kicking GT40s from the mid 60s. Mr. Carroll Shelby, we salute and thank you. Sticking with the North American manufacturers, Chrysler has unveiled what is arguably the smallest car they will ever offer here in North America. The Canadian debut of the Fiat 500 should prove to be the next biggest thing in the very rapidly growing subcompact segment. Sticking to the topic of subcompact cars, the Honda CRZ Hybrid has made its official Canadian debut. According to Honda, this car should be as economical as it will be fun to drive. And in true auto show fashion, there were tons of concepts and prototypes to behold. One of them was the very seductive essence from Infinity. Now this beauty is all about style. This is truly a concept vehicle. It's a, a we, we made one and it's really to signal. Uh, it's really a signal to see what we will be designing in the future. And that's its sole purpose. And, and it really is a, uh, a very beautiful, sculptural, muscular, very emotional uh, piece of work that uh, generates you know, the luxury in a new sense. And uh, I think that's what we were after. 